is up and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Pokemon game on Scratch. Uh, also guys, I do apologize if my voice is a bit weird. Uh, I have a sore throat right now, so uh, yeah, and I haven't uploaded a video in like two weeks, so I had to upload one, upload one. So, um, yeah, here I am. So I did uh, like upload a post last night ish around that time. And uh, it was whether you guys, what game you guys wanted to see next, and it was a Pokemon game. So uh, here we are. So um, I'm not really good at designing characters, so I'm just gonna make a little cube. That's going to be Ash from Pallet Town. Twelve. Okay, that's too much. Uh, let's do seven. Alright, that, that's pretty good. And then, this is going to be the front view. So, I'm just going to do boop, and boop. Okay, and then we'll call this costume front. Now, I'll duplicate this, and call this costume back, and then just delete the eyes. And then, I'm going to duplicate this, and call this costume right. Boom. Bam. And then just do that. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Call this costume left. And then just flip it horizontally. And boom. Okay, so. Now what we want to do is call this the player. Do when green 5 clicked. Forever. If key oh no not touching if key right arrow pressed uh then we will change oh wait oh wait okay we will change x by five so let's see how fast that is i, I feel like that's a pretty good speed well i mean maybe maybe four i feel like i feel like four is a better speed and then we'll switch costume to right Bam, I'm gonna duplicate that. Left. Uh, switch costume to left. Negative four. So now, uh, our dude actually turns. Uh, now, I will do if key up and then down. And then I'll replace these with uh, change y's. Change y by four negative four and then back in front so now looks like our character is actually moving all right so now uh like the actual game uh there's like professor oak's house so like right there so first let's um make our player go to that position and now let's design um, Professor Oak's house. So uh, I'm gonna make like a little no uh boop uh bam. I'm not gonna add an outline for that. And then let's do like a little yellow color, goldish. Boom, there's the door. Uh, uh, uh. Here, let's move this down. Bam, door. And then let's add a roof. That's going to be a lighter color. And boom. And then I'm going to like add that sort of in. Okay. And uh, all right. So now just for a little more detail, I'm going to add a few oh. That does not look good. Okay. Uh I'm going to add a few Wait. What did I just do? 
Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. So, now I'm just gonna do that. Uh, for like five. Boop, okay. And now, I'll just put like a little Bam. Okay. That's Professor Oak's laboratory or house or whatever. Alright, so now uh, I'm gonna name this uh, Oak's house. You know what? Okay, there. Now, oh, I will put an if inside of this. I'm gonna put a touching Touching uh, Oak's house. Then we will change x by negative four. Duplicate this, but this one we're gonna change x by four. All right. Bam. Duplicate that. Boop. Change x by negative four. And then duplicate this. Uh. And then change x by oh negative four. Alright, so now, bam, our player won't be able to go through the house. But the house is looking very tiny right now. So if I change it to like 150, bam. Okay, that's like perfect. Um, okay, but we do have a slight problem. Um, which is like, the, it's not really realistic because you can't go under the roof. And it's very buggy. So to fix that, we're going to add a hitbox. Hitbox. Oh. Hitbox. Hitbox. Okay. Bam. Now, we want to copy a uh, player right here. Paste it. And then just fill it in. All black. Bam. Okay. Now we're just gonna drag all of this literally into there, but get rid of the costumes. Boop, bam. Okay, and then in this one, we're just gonna get rid of the everything but the costumes, and then we're just gonna go and put in a uh, go to. Uh, hitbox. Bam. But now, you can see that the player isn't showing. So we'll, in the hitbox, we'll just set ghost effect to 99.999. Bam. And that basically makes the hitbox invisible. And, um, now, we're going to, here, I'm going to delete the eyes. Because we don't need them. And I'm just going to size it down to like half. And then center it. And then. Oh, oh. Am I? Okay, they're centered. Uh, so I shouldn't have centered it. I shouldn't have centered it. And I'm just going to do that. Bam. Okay, and then here, when the inside clicked, wherever, and then here we go, go uh, just put it go to back layer, boop, bam, okay, so now we can do that, we can walk up to the door, but now look, we can't like, you know, go underneath it from the back, so for that, we're going to have to duplicate the house and then get rid of the door part and then in this one we would have to get rid of the roof bam okay and then um so what we would do is make the house go to there and then make the roof Go like right there. Bam. 
make this go to the front. Boop. Alright, now you can see that we can do that. And we can walk under the house. But we literally disappear under it. So all we have to do is just make this bigger. Bam. Okay, well. Uh, I feel like I'm stuck in it now. So now I'll just restart. And bam. Now I can't go all the way under, but I can still go around it. Okay, so. Now that we have that working. Um. Let's make a. So, like, let's make a system where you can move around the world. Okay, so, uh, for this, we're going to have to create a couple of backgrounds. So, first of all, let's create a green background. Uh, for, like, the grass and stuff. So, bam. Alright, and let's actually also make a pathway that leads up to Professor, o Professor Oak's house. So, make it, like, some sort of, uh, sandy, I guess, ish pathway. Bam. Uh, size it down a bit. Make sure it goes up to there. Okay. Bam. Alright. So, I think that looks pretty good. Uh, I'll also add another pathway. Bing. That goes from there to like, you know, somewhere off. Copy that, paste it. Same thing here. Go somewhere else. And then I'll just make another one that goes like up there. Bam. Copy that, paste it. Boop. Okay. So, like, all these go different directions. Then, um, I'll call this zero, zero. Uh, yeah. Now I'm going to duplicate it. And so, let's say this is going to be the one for right. So, I'm going to call this one, zero. I'm going to call it ten. And then I'm going to make a little pond here, let's say. Uh, bam. Pond. Uh, I'll make it actually look like a pond. You know. Boom. Bam. Alright, so like you could be able to catch water type Pokemon in here. Okay, pond. And then I'll copy this. There's the path. Bam. Bing. Okay, there. Alright, so... Uh, just with these two, for now, let's make a variable called x, make one called y, boom, delete the my variable, we don't need it, and now, okay, so for the player, let's put in a one green five clay, forever, if, then put a less than symbol, drag in your x position, so, if X position is ever, um, oh wait, this should be in the hitbox. Just realized. Okay. So, if X position is ever less than, um, let's say, negative 240, then we're actually just going to go to 240 the Y position. So now, if you ever, oh, well, uh, we forgot to switch the background. Wait, okay, switch backdrop, switch backdrop to zero zero. Okay, so we spawn on the path. Uh, the house is there, and if we ever go there, uh, you can see that we just teleport over to the other side. Which may be weird right now, but uh, we'll figure it out. Now we duplicate this. 
uh, put in a greater than, bam, if x position is greater than 240, it's going to go to negative 240. And now, if we just go here, bam, so you know, we just teleport to the other side. Now, we're also going to change x by 1 and change x by negative 1. And then the backdrops, we're going to do when if I clicked forever. Now we're going to switch backdrop. Then we're going to put a join. And then we're going to put an X and a Y. Bam. Boom. There. But now the house is still showing. So what we're going to do is forever. If, uh, put in that if else. Uh, and then we're going to put in this and that. Boom. So if, uh, and then do, oh wait, backdrop number of stage is equal to, oh wait, oh wait. If not, oh wait. Boom. If not, backdrop number backdrop name of stage is equal to zero zero then we're going to hide else show boom oh and then we're going to do the same thing here oops house uh, top part okay now boom boom there and we're also going to set x and set y to zero at the beginning okay so now we always spawn here and we can do that and that you know pretty cool now um what we can do is i'll just duplicate this uh call this negative one zero and now i'm just gonna shift this over and you know, make a little, make little trees here, so like the woods or something, right? Uh, bam, boom. Okay, choose that to zero. Now let's add little leaves, guys. I know this tutorial has gotten pretty long. Well, I think so at least. Don't know how long I've been recording for, but uh, and I'm just going to make a few leaves that boom very simple tree you guys should definitely improve on the graphics uh boop okay and now i'm just gonna group this and the, uh group that and i'm gonna copy and paste mm, bam paste uh here i'll size this one down tiny tree okay we have trees and now if you guys watch if we just walk over to the left boom trees and that's all because of this negative sign or the one zero all right so guys that is pretty much it for this video if you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe hit that notification bell and i will see you guys next time so, peace.